What's up, what's up, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Hope you're all doing amazing. I was going to start this video off with this joke about how we can't possibly play Animal Crossing forever. So thank goodness for new Switch games. But then after the 1.2 update, like, maybe we can play New Horizons forever. Nonetheless, the series don't stop. New Switch games were announced this week, and we've got eight of them to cover with you. Seven are brand new titles. One is a release date update. And as we've been doing, we're going to watch the trailers together and decide, you and me, if these are worth getting excited for or if they look like they stink so hit that like button if you enjoy the video and are having fun with your switch during this crazy time thanks for spending this crazy time with me i'm sure it is good to have people that you know and like to enjoy some fun games with while this is happening and i like you so i'm glad you like me thank you we're gonna watch these together let me know in the comments if any of them look fun or if any of them look especially bad we're gonna start with the release date update here we go Streets of Rage 4 got confirmed for April 30th on Switch. First new entry in the franchise in like 25 years. The graphics are gorgeous. They got the people behind Wonder Boy and Windjammers on this joint. So it looks so good. I'm not normally the biggest beat em up fan, but it's pretty. The battle mode is back. I just read that today. You want to get feisty in eight different arenas. Versus or team mode. Okay. You know, I could be down for this. I haven't played a beat-em-up in a long time. I'm thinking of the era where I would go to Chuck E. Cheese and me and my brothers would try to get through TMNT, Turtles in Time, uh, or the Simpsons game. Those were like the two that we would play a lot. Or X-Men, but X-Men not as much. That was a huge cabinet and it wasn't at Chuck E. Cheese. April 30th. Are you guys interested? Like, there's some genres that never die, and there's some genres that should die, and I've always felt in between about beat-em-ups. Maybe that's blasphemous, but... Like, beat-em-ups, they're, they're solid when they're solid. They're repetitive when they're not. This one looks like they're putting the effort and the TLC into it. Um, you got that limited run physical if you want to grab it. It's April 30th. I, I, I might give it a go. It, it, it looks pretty. And I'm a sucker for pretty. I really am. Here's a weird one. It is a Peaky Blinders game called Peaky Blinders Mastermind. It's coming this summer to Switch. And uh, it looks like almost like a top-down tactical game. It says that you're going to become the mastermind, manipulate time, and use stealth and strategy to solve increasingly complex puzzles. I mean, if there's there's like actual like case solving, that would be pretty cool. But if by case solving they mean holding the X button while you stand by a lock, I don't know. Each character has different like benefits here. You can see it's kind of neat. I oh, do you guys feel weird about top-down games? Like, I mean, it depends on the price, but I'm always like, okay, like. We have a lot of these on Switch. It looks like it could be neat, though. The whole coordination thing. It's like heists, but like kind of the reverse because you're solving puzzles and, you know. I mean, I guess it's sort of similar. Yeah, trying to, it's similar. Working as a one-man squad with all these different arms, a.k.a. all the different people you control. It's kind of neat. I don't know, it's honestly probably not for me. I probably won't get this one, but if you're a fan of the show, uh, or if you're a fan of kind of this, like, more tactical, top-down, stealth and sneaking and puzzle-solving game, it looks like a solid one. Now, who's it developed by? Curve Digital and Future Lab. Don't know much about them. It's coming this summer. Steam, PC, Switch, Xbox One, PS4. All right. House Flipper is dropping this summer as well. You want to fix up some houses. You don't have to buy them, but at the same time, you don't get the benefit. Like, the whole thing about house flipping, I mean, it's the fun of it, but then it's also, like, the profit. Not really profit when it's virtual, but I do like the look. It's coming to PS4 and Xbox One, so these graphics could be from there. Not the Switch version. I love that the leader of the porting team says the best game they've ever ported. Never thought cleaning houses for hours would be fun. Man, we spend so much time in our house now. I don't know if I need more house time, but I did get very positive reviews. I saw people playing this, like, on streams for a while when it released on PC. And it's a very cute trailer. Where is the console news for House Flipper? VR but no console? Release it for console. Arr! When is the release date? Please, this month. How about con Are they going to give us the release date? It said this summer, but is, is it going to give us the date in the trailer? This is a very funny trailer, though. I, oh, I got to give them props for this. I don't know if I'll, I'll buy the game, but... Oh, that's the console release. That's the PS4, Xbox One date. This is just that trailer. Come on, where's the Switch date? Oh, man. 
Okay. I I goofed myself. I thought that was going to be a Switch trailer. It was just them re-airing the trailer for console because that's the that's the game that they're port. Okay. Whatever. I was going to give you guys such... I mean, it's still a cute trailer, but... Book of Demons is a deck-building hack-and-slash hybrid. Comes out uh, April 30th. I can see you. I can smell your dread and madness. This man has a very good voice. You slash your way through my precious dungeons. You desolate my undead legions. You plunder my dear treasures. You steal the secrets oh. that were all meant for mortal eyes. I thought this was a different game. I was actually excited for this on Steam, and I completely no, forgot it came out. So it's like you build your arsenal with cards, and then you get to execute it in, like, a hack and slash. And it's got, like, this, like, pop-up book, picture book style where you, like, got cut out of a book, which is... I think it's pretty clever. even with all your tricks and all the help... I wonder if there's loot. Let's see. I guess the cards are the loot. 40 different cards. Warrior, rogue, and mage classes. Three different underground what realms. 70 different monsters. Roguelike mode for fans seeking extreme challenge. The only thing that holds me back on Book of Demons, cause honestly, I think it looks good. Like, this whole art style, I think, looks good. I like it. I like just different stuff. And I think the idea of using your cards to sort of formulate your arsenal is cool. It is 25 bucks, though. It got, it got pretty solid, like, like uh, reviews on Steam. And you can get 20 or 10% off if you pre-order it on eShop. But 25 is a lot. It comes out April 30. It looks good, though. Oh, this is going to be a tough call for me. I think this looks cool. What do you guys think? Let's take our talents to Mars. Mars Horizon is coming sometime in 2020. You get to create your base, construct your own custom vehicles, launch satellites, launch spaceships, run mission control, explore the tech tree, also apparently fail. Plot your roadmap to Mars, create your own custom space agency. It's kind of neat, like space agency builder. Oh, but it's more, okay. I didn't know if it was going to be more like Kerbal or if it was going to be more like Two Point Hospital, Sim City style. Interesting. So I don't think you're actually flying this stuff. I think you're more setting it up. Which, honestly, I think I'd prefer. This game looks pretty neat. But you do also have to design and build the right spacecraft. It says, hire and train the, the right crew, make strategic decisions as mission control to survive the journey to Mars. And then, can you play on Mars when you get there? Wait, aliens? What? M Mars Horizon has been made possible with the input and support of the European Space Agency and the UK Space Agency. That's interesting. Huh, to bring realism to the missions. That's pretty... It looks It looks kind of neat. I kind of like this a lot. When's it coming? It's just, it's just wishlist now on Steam, but it's also coming to Switch. Interesting. It's from the Irregular Corporation and Auroc Digital. I mean, you never know with these kind of games that they're going to be great or just, huh, eh, ho-hum. But it's got a it's got a promising idea. I like the whole like create your own space agency, build the craft, build out your team, and then launch this stuff. That's pretty I like that one. I actually like that one. Let's bring a little FMB to the table. Telling Lies is dropping April 28th. And this is a game from the creator of Her Story. It's an investigative thriller with nonlinear storytelling. How do you do it? These are so creepy to me. But it got really good reviews. Come to me, it won't last, okay? You gotta trust me. Well, well, well. <laughs> so weird to see this stuff on your Switch screen, right? Like you're holding your Switch, like there's real people on there. Right now. Animal Crossing villagers and real people. One, two, three. You lie to people and they believe you. I might have to try this. I, I, I've played her story. I have not played Telling Lies when it came out on PC. It's 20 bucks on PC. Not sure how much it'll be on... Yeah, look at those review scores. Not... I gotta get this one. This is... The... For me, this is probably the best of the week. It's just so unique and so interesting. And that's a lot of nines. And I am motivated by nines and tens. Pretty stuff and high scores. Let's go. Telling lies. That looks cool. Coming April 20th. That's so soon. That's in a couple days here. Okay, I'm excited for that. Mark me down for telling lies. Mail mole. 3D platformer with a... Postal delivery mail mole. Mail mole. Mole mail. He's also male. He's a male male mole. 
very Mario 3D World-esque, and I cannot wait for that port, but this looks a lot like it. It also reminds me of New Super Lucky's Tale, which I enjoyed. I think the game would benefit from a lower price point, but I enjoyed it. But this, this looks like a lot like 3D World, which is a good thing. It's also got like a very muted color palette, which I think is interesting. No release date, it's coming in 2020. It looks pretty interesting. It says, explore magical worlds from the calm beaches of Coconut Islands to the freezing heights of Yeti Ridge. Make new friends, race against unusual mech rivals, solve puzzles, find all the delicious collectibles around Carrot Land as Multi the Mill Mole. I mean, again, as with so many, it's a coin flip on, on the quality, but it actually looks kind of neat. There's a few of these 3D platformers coming out this year that I'm, I got my eye on. Like, will they deliver? Especially in a year where Mario is supposed to absolutely dominate it's gonna be hard to compete, but if one or two of them can come out and deliver something, even at like a ukulele level, could be fun. What do you guys think? Mail, it's a mail mole. Come on, man. The USPS needs our help. <laughs> our last game of the day is Monochrome World, drop in May 7th. You play a raindrop trying to restore color back to the world. Oh, wow. It says it's Unreal Engine 4, but I'm not necessarily feeling the graphics. Supposedly, you're trying to color, cover all the little spaces with your color, but there's different puzzles and obstacles and things that are going to get in your way. It's, it's more of like a monkey ball style game. I wonder how how difficult the rolling is. Like, can you just fall right off, or is it pretty pretty generous? Make your own raindrop. It's also a cat. It's a kitten raindrop. That's cute. I like. Oh, or you could be a panda. That's kind of cool. Extreme action puzzle. This reminds me of Death Squared, which is one of my favorite cooperative games on Switch. Death Squared is like amazing. Though. Will Monochrome World be amazing on May 7th? I'm not so sure. I can't, it's hard, like some of these games, like it's so hard to convey the gameplay. Like, is this more Monkey Ball where you're trying to stay on the, the surfaces? Like, is it, is it more like a platformer or are you automatically on the surfaces and it's just about moving and painting and navigating some of like the light puzzle elements? I can't quite tell. Can you guys tell? Mm -hmm. I do like the raindrop system though. I like that a lot. Okay, so what'd you think? There's the eight games. I think there's a few really cool ones in there. I think Streets of Rage 4 looks good. I'm glad that's coming on April 30th. I am personally excited for Book of Demons because I remembered that I wanted to play it on Steam and never got around to it. And Telling Lies looks awesome. Mark me down for Telling Lies. So I think there's three that are really solid this week. The rest of the week, it's not that great. Let's be honest. I mean, some of these games could turn out to be fun. You know, maybe Melmo comes out and surprises us. Maybe Mars Horizons is actually very polished and delivers a fun strategy experience. But there's nothing to write home about. And now we know that together watching the trailers. I have fun just checking out the games with you guys. I hope you do as well. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Thanks so much for being here. Let me know in the comments which of the games you enjoyed from today or which ones you think look terrible. I want to hear from you. I appreciate you guys coming in and supporting the channel. It means a lot to me. If you want to join our Discord, Switch Strong, it's a great fun place to talk Switch, hang out, trade villagers in Animal Crossing, interact with me, and see a bunch of really uh, cool Animal Crossing memes that have been making me laugh. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to join there. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe and stay healthy. Switch Force, out.